Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I do have a very small Dollar Tree haul. Most of the items will probably be stuff that you guys did see in my videos as I was doing my walkthroughs, but I just wanted to share with you some of the items that I did pick up and most of it is going to be about fall. So the first thing I'm gonna start with is the socks because they're sitting right in front of me. I did pick up Finally, I've seen these a few times and I never really picked them up. I did go ahead and get the blueberry pancakes with the syrup on them. I thought these would be really, really cool to wear because um, I have so many socks like I need anymore. <laughs> I don't, but I couldn't pass those up again. Um, and then I picked up the Halloween ones that say Creeping It Real. I like those. I got the ones that say uh, Boo Yow. <laughs> And I love the polka dots on those with the orange. I did pick up Dracula, like that, black on the other side. And then I thought these were really, really cute. So I did pick up the ones with the skulls and the eyeballs. Uh, what else? I got this towel, black cats and witches hats. Black cats and witches hats, beware of flying brooms. So this one, and I did also show you guys that they had the matching um, pot holders and the oven mitts and everything, which I don't do the oven mitts from Dollar Tree. They are cute for decorative reasons, but I just can't do them. Um, I've tried them one time and they're whatever they're made out of, I mean, I literally almost burnt my hands trying to get something out the oven. So even though they're cute, I have to pass on those. I could not pass up these two cute signs. These are just the little wood signs like that. Eat, drink, and be scary. And then this one right here says, beware the wicked witch and her little monsters live here. So these are um, super cute and I know they're gonna go fast. I did get these. I do have the fall ones. I can't, the thankful and the blessed or something, whatever they say, I forgot what they say. But I forgot that they were in a different bag with all the pumpkins and stuff that I bought. And I just put those away. But I did get these on this, this time around, which is the Halloween, Happy Halloween and the trick or treat. And I'm kicking myself for not picking up some of the the small uh, pumpkins that I just showed you guys that had the little polka dots on it and then they also have the ones with the stripes I'll probably go back and get a couple of the ones with the polka dots because I thought they would be cute to sit around this sign since they do have the polka dots on it uh, yeah so I did pick up these two and then out of those cute little nesting boxes I did pick up these two right here I actually picked up two of these uh, the other one is bigger than this one and I had a plan for these and I'll show you what I'm going to do with them. Um, the outside part looks like pumpkins, but I love this pumpkin spice and everything nice season. Uh, so yeah, so what I'm going to do with those, which I kind of started, but it was just to show you guys. Now, don't talk about me because I am not the best with floral arrangements. Now, I just threw these in here just to kind of give you guys an idea. This is some of the flowers that I did pick and the little wheat or whatever. Now, they're not in there completely because as you can see, the foam blocks are still, I just kind of stuffed them down in there. There's two in there. But when I'm done with these, I will have these set up like some kind of floral arrangement that can be sat around the house, maybe on the fireplace somewhere. I don't know. But I did that and this was just for me to kind of get an idea of what colors I wanted. Of course, for this one i'll be doing some different colors for that one but this is what i planned on doing with these i just thought these were super cute or you can put something in there like um i don't know if a starbucks cup will fit in here but like a starbucks card you can use these as gift boxes too these would be really cute so yeah i had to get this i also plan on doing that with this one um i'm not sure what colors will be in this as far as a floral arrangement but that's why i picked up the little frankenstein i think he is so cute plus i think um yeah i think i bought the frankenstein candy bowl from 99 cent store i have a fall haul that i'm going to be doing for you guys i'll show you some of the other fall stuff that i picked up at random stores um but yeah so i like frankenstein so that's why i got this one. Oh yeah i almost forgot i did pick up the pumpkin picks to go in here so the pumpkin pick will also be in there since it's the pumpkin on the front and it has a glitter on it so this will be also in here somewhere i'm not sure yet but that's why i picked these up 
I ended up getting um, some of these boxes, the ones that look like this. This says casting spells, and they do open up. So I got this one. I got the smaller one that says spells, potions, and creepy concoctions. I like these. These will be cute little decor to set around. Um, I like to I like to decorate for like Halloween and stuff like that, but I don't really get into like the gory gory stuff i just don't really care for that but like little stuff like this i like so then i also picked up one big one and one small one of this book that says halloween tricks and treats because i like this box the most so i got two of those my daughter was actually with me she picked these and she wants to paint these but i wanted to show you can you see that it's a wood skull and she has a flower in her hair and I just think these are so pretty. You can paint both sides or just one side. And then the guy looks like this. And he has a hat. So you have the Mr. and the Ms. And I thought those were super cute. So she wanted to paint the sugar skulls. I can't wait to see what she does with these. I'll probably post a picture of them on Instagram. I did get one pack of stickers. Only one because I do have a bunch of stickers in my t uh, sticker stash. But I, in the midst of moving, don't even get me started with my craft stuff. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, I just, I don't want to go through all of that. And I like sticking little stickers and stuff on mail when I'm sending out mail, like in the month of October or whatever. So I just wanted to have one set of stickers around so I don't have to go rummaging through my bins of stickers and washi tape to find a set. So I did get that. I did also pick up the two garlands that I showed you guys in my other video. And this one is with the ghost and the pumpkins. And I believe, I think there is a black cat in there. And these are like felt like material. And then this one, I'm probably going to go back and get another one. I really like the skeletons like that. You get the white one and then you get the black one. And I think this is going to be the one that I'm going to hang in front of the fireplace. I just like that. So I picked up both of these. And not Halloween related, but I did pick up a can of electronics duster. Uh, it's only two ounces, but I needed it. So I went ahead and grabbed it. And I have my cousin who has some daughters. Uh, and these were just too cute not to pick up. Um, I did show you guys some of the clothing that they had in the store. But I didn't pick up anything at that time. The little Barbie stuff. Well, this time around when I went, I did pick up a few things to give to my cousin's daughter. Because these are just, they're just too cute. So this one is a set with a little puppy. He has a bowl and some toys. And all of that. I think that is so, so, so cute. I wish my daughter was still little at this moment. <laughs> then I got this one, a little baking set. And it has um, the hand whipper what is it uh am i saying it right i can't think of it right now the mixer the mixer the hand mixer <laughs> i called it a hand whipper it has a little bowl and then it has a fake cake the little cake and um little measuring spoons that is so cute oh my gosh uh you know my daughter never played with dolls never never did i play with dolls i think i had a few dolls i wasn't really big on barbie dolls and stuff either growing up i think my grandmother used to just buy me that type of stuff but i played with it a little bit like i remember having the big rv van and stuff like that i remember having the shower and the mansion or whatever where she can go upstairs and downstairs i think i played with it a few times but i wasn't really big with dolls and my daughter is the same exact way so i wish she would have played with dolls <laughs> but um then you have this one i think it's a little breakfast set it looks like it has a heart-shaped egg on the plate a little platter a little serving tray and some waffles that shape like a star so i got that and then the last one is that the last one yeah this last one it has a frying pan a spatula a plate with some eggs and bacon a, and a waffle maker at the top so these are so fun and so cute that I had to get them. And I, I was in the store like, who do I know that need these? Who do I know? And I couldn't think. And I'm like, everybody I know got grown kids. And I was like, oh, my cousin. <laughs> she going to be like, girl, <laughs> she getting them though. Okay, so then the last couple things I picked up was some candy. I did go ahead and pick up the Kool-Aid Kool Popping Candy in Scary Berry. 
And you do get three packs in there, so I got that. I snagged the pumpkin spice taffy, because I have to give these a try. I think you guys knew that I was getting the donut shop candy corn. Um, I like candy corn anyway, especially the little pumpkin ones. I just like those. Um, but yeah, these are strawberry glaze, chocolate glaze, and original glaze. And I definitely wanted to give these a try. And I did have these like two years ago from Target when they first came out. And these are the pie favorites in apple pie and pumpkin pie. I know what these taste like. They're really good. So I went ahead and grabbed them. And the last thing I picked up was for the kids, mainly for Pooh Bear to try these out. Just because, I don't know, I think he's going to get a kick out of them being like he's eating... <laughs> a bag of boogers even though you know we tell our kids don't do nothing like that which he's never done that but it's like i don't know it's so cliche it's like oh here's a bag of boogers you can eat boogers i don't know but these are the sour boogers um bag of boogers candy gummy candy monsters love them with 14 in them and i told you guys the names which was snotter melon sour green boogie and lemon loogie <sighs> That just sounds creepy. But that's it for my Dollar Tree haul. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put all this stuff away. I'm not even gonna do my floral arrangements yet. I need to get some more flowers for the other two bags or boxes. Um, and it's not time. So when do you guys put up your fall stuff? I was thinking like that. I was thinking about that. Cause you know how the stores are already, you know, pushing it out and it's only, it's still August. So do you put your stuff out September 1st? Is that the day that you can put your fall stuff out? Is it September 1st? And then you kind of throw in your Halloween stuff October 1st. And then it's December 1st when you put up your Christmas stuff. So let me know down in the comment section what is the deadline or the date that you do your fall, Halloween, and December stuff. I really would like to know that. Uh, so thank you guys all for watching. Stay tuned, of course, for more videos. I have a bunch of stuff sitting right here next to me. Uh, I'm not going to film it today, but it's a fall haul and yeah it's a bunch of stuff so you guys look forward to that at some point and um i'll talk to you all in my next video bye you guys